The topic of this lecture is how to make an amplifier out of a field effect transistor. And uh, actually the situation is pretty similar to what we had before with uh, bipolar junction transistors. Uh, as in that case, uh, the amplification comes from pulling different amount of currents through the drain resistor. That would have been the collector resistor in the BJT case. Uh, so if we pull more, resist, uh, more current through, then V out will go down as more uh, voltage drops uh, from VD across RD. It, and if we pull less current through, then V out will go up as the voltage drop becomes less. Uh, just like in the bipolar junction transistor case, we have to bias the, uh, the gate source voltage, uh, which will control the, the baseline level of how much current is drawn through the amplifier. Uh, and we have to feed in a, a small uh, current, uh, a small voltage through a capacitor uh, to not screw up the, the, the gate source voltage. Note there is a resistor on the gate, even though there'll be no current flowing uh, in the normal case, uh, because we'll want the small changes in V in to have something to change. If we connected a gate voltage directly, we'd have no way to feed in a signal. So um, when we're biasing the transistor, we have to take into account the things that vary, just like in the bipolar junction case. And in the, uh, in the case here with, with a depletion mode MOSFET or with a JFET IDSS, the, the full current that can flow through, or the pinch voltage, those vary from transistor to transistor, even in the same batch. Uh, likewise, if we have a, an enhancement mode, JFET K, and, and the threshold voltage will change. So uh, the first thing we want to note is that uh, the source resistor should probably not be zero. Uh, if we increase, if we put in a resistor there, uh, that increases the voltage at the source and probably increases the voltage between the gate and the source, uh, making it uh, less likely that the transistor will cut off. The, the real problem with having a, a source voltage equal to zero is that it's difficult to make sure that the transistor is, is not cut off. And I illustrate that with the graph here. The red line indicates a, uh, a JFET with a pinch voltage of minus four volts. And say we wanted to set it up so that the the gate voltage had minus 2.5 volts, and uh, the source was at zero. That would be fine if the red line was exactly what we wanted. However, the variation in the batches uh, of VP might be from, say, minus 3 to minus 5. And if we're in the minus 3 case, uh, we are very close to being uh, cut off uh, with this situation. So we'd like to avoid that. And by adding a source resistor, we can do that. And that's illustrated on this page, uh, where uh, we put in a, a source voltage, a source, sorry, a source resistor, uh, whose value is not zero. And let's illustrate this in the case where the gate voltage supply is at zero volts. So um, in that case, uh, we need to do a load line analysis. Uh, and we want to find, uh, we have some drain and source current flowing. They're the same uh, because it, that's true in all FETs. And then we can find the voltage at the source. And so we do that. It's just the voltage at the source minus VSS, which is zero, divided by the, resist, uh, the resistance using Ohm's law. And so that tells us that VS over RS is is the source current, but that's also because VGG is zero minus the gate source voltage. So if we plot that, we'll get a line like the green line th shown here. That's the load line analysis. We start from zero. If there's no current flowing, then this is at zero. And as the current, as we get more current flowing, that voltage goes down and down like this. Uh, the, the voltage across here as this voltage goes down from zero. Um, as you can see in this case, that intersects the band 
uh, where we will not uh, where we expect the the transfer function to uh, apply uh, in the middle, and it's and it's nowhere close uh, to being cut off, which would be if if the band were far down. The nice uh, thing about this is that now we can actually increase uh, VGG and make it not zero, but say two volts as, as shown here. Uh, now it's not minus VGS over RS, it's two minus uh, VGS all over RS. And that gives this line here. And note that this means that we can also extend it to the case where uh, we have an enhancement mode uh, FET or uh, or even if we have a, a depletion mode we can we can have uh, we can move this up into the positive region. So uh, just like in the JFET case we had a prescription for for biasing it. Uh, so first you pick ID which is the same as IS uh, then we determine the VGS we want from uh, the the active region formula for the current, depending on whether we have a, a JFET or de and depletion MOSFET or an enhancement MOSFET. Right, so we've already picked ID, so that'll allow us to determine the VGS we need. Uh, and we'll want to make sure when we do that, there are two roots uh, to this when we're finding VGS, and we want to pick the root that will uh, make sure that we're in the uh, active region using the formula for the active region. Uh, and then we also want there to be the given gain, uh, which is, is the final constraint. Uh, so how much the uh, that will allow us to determine the resistors we need, Rd and Rs. Uh, and then we can just determine uh, what the voltages should be at the four part, uh, three parts of the current, and we pick the source resistor and drain resistor as required.